A mold danger, a rental home riddled with it. It feels like your chest is on fire. And a tenant who says he's trapped. He can't live in this dangerous rental, yet his landlord is still demanding cash. This tenant has not been treated fairly. This tenant has been treated horribly, and somebody needs to be held responsible. And tonight, Help Me Hank tracks down the owner of that rental home. And also works to get help for the tenant who is now suffering serious health problems because of this mold. A rental home nightmare and a property owner that was hard to track down until we got involved. Hi, Antoine. I've been looking for this guy and he knows it. Antoine. Antoine Dubeclard is the owner of this rental home in Clawson. And in a moment, you'll see our exchange. Right now, meet Sean Freeman. According to the test results that I recently got, he said that this is highly toxic. Sean and his father are renting this home on Tacoma Street in Clawson. And earlier this year, both started feeling sick. Congestive, real high. Sean noticed what he thought was black mold behind the bathroom vanity. He called the property manager right away. But what have they done? Excuses. Sean then hired a mold expert to test the rental and the results were shocking. High levels of dangerous black mold in several parts of the home. Have they been trying to work with you at all? No. After we aired this report and contacted the property manager on the phone, we were told this problem would be fixed. The property manager paid for Sean and his family to stay at a motel. They hired a crew to clean the mold. The problem, when Sean moved back in, his symptoms got worse. A new mold test by an independent expert revealed that the mold levels were now off the charts. It got so bad, the city moved in. Determining the home is a big danger. Sean had to move everything he owned inside contaminated. But get this, his landlord was still demanding roughly $2,000 in rent. Payment for the months when Sean was living in the toxic rental. If they've determined and they can determine that the property that was rented isn't habitable or isn't suitable, then they are not under an obligation to pay the rent. Neil Rockine is a local Ford legal expert. The tenant is not left without rights in this case. And Yet Sean was have, being pressured um, to pay up. I so I went to find the owner, this guy, Antoine. He ignored my calls and thought on this day he was going to walk right by me. Why are you allowing this to happen? What, what are we talking about? We're talking about the property in Tacoma. What exactly are we talking about? The mold? What mold? You're not aware of the mold? My understanding is there was a spot about this big no, that no, was in no, the no, kitchen? No, 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 no. Okay. You know the situation with the mold. Antoine says he was out of the country when these problems were revealed, and he wasn't aware how big the problem had become. He also apparently was not aware his home was a danger. But it's right out front of the home. When was this big, done? No, two weeks ago. Now it's time to give Sean something he's been waiting months for, a chance to speak with Antoine on the phone. I'd like to talk to this tenant to understand what's going on. I have not seen this latest report you're talking about. Let's call him right now. You know what? Unfortunately, I've got a lunch meeting I got to get to. I think this is important. Okay, let's, the owner right. of this no, property. Right. let's take care of it. Our symptoms are getting worse. As of right now, though, he's being told by your property so, manager he has so, to pay the rent. So I wasn't aware of the of the city notice. So I'll, I'll look into that. You know, uh, that's one thing I wasn't aware of. Um, the second piece of it is obviously for the time that you're not able to live in the house for these reasons, you shouldn't be charged rent for that. That's obvious to me. Okay. This tenant has been treated horribly, mm -hmm. and somebody needs to be held responsible. It's right. it's just not fair. And remember, if you're a tenant like Sean in a bad situation, you do have legal rights. I should tell you that Sean will not have to pay rent for the months that he was living in that dangerous home and his security deposit will be returned. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank.